Hello everyone, it is Frankie Ward here and you may have heard about the G2 League of Legends team running it down or the Rocket League team often ending with an overtime and now my friends I'm delighted to reveal the first episode of G2 post plant and I bet the Counter-Strike team absolutely love the name that has been chosen for this show and for the first episode I am joined by the two boys who basically had to be separated during quarantine because they love each other a little bit too much and the teammates were getting jealous. I am of course talking about Jackson Kenny! Yeah! <laughs> Great, great, great. Oh, thank okay. you very much. Very great. I didn't have to do that multiple times at all. It was perfect on the first go and nobody is to say anything different. Jax, how have you been finding Le Confinement? The Confinement was uh, very, very difficult at the beginning, but I think uh, we need to, to stay uh, at home to be safe, guys, because we don't gonna lose against this virus in the future. <laughs> Oh my god, Frankie, what did you just say? I didn't say anything, I just said about... Yeah, but we won Frankie. against Astralis. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but um, Astralis weren't playing with a coach. Um, okay, so uh, Kenny, t tell me how you found Le Confinement. Le Confinement. <laughs> uh, I'm speaking well, French for you. Be, at, nice. the, at the beginning, uh, to be honest, being separated from Jax has been really hard. Oh uh, my god. Uh, uh, the, but I get used to it because I like to stay home, you know. Uh, we've been traveling so much that uh, being home doesn't bother me. But it's been a way too long. Uh, what bothers me the most with the, the lockdown has been uh, not seeing my family and my friends, to mm -hmm. be honest. Uh, but now that it's getting lighter, uh, it's all good. Uh, I will have a few days off, I will go back to my own town. It's been a while, I didn't see my, uh, my mother, my big doggo and my friends. So uh, I'm really happy about... Uh, about my life right now, uh, even though uh, we had the confinement. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Big doggo? Yeah, I have You've a big dog. You've got a dog. little dog and you have a big dog with your mum. Yeah. What's the big dog? German the dog? It's a German Shepherd. Oh, right, okay. Post on Instagram later so I can look at your dog, please. That it, it's is the nicest dog ever. It's the nicest dog ever. What's it called? Uh, Goku. Coucou. Oh, ah, coucou le, le coucou. Um, you have really cool girlfriends, both of you. Again, mm -hmm. I've been Instagram stalking. Although I have, I've, I've played uh, Rainbow Six with Paula, your girlfriend, Kenny. She's very cool and I want her to be my best friend. Uh, how <laughs> have your, that's not even a joke, it's true. No, she how loves it have, too. Oh, thank you. How have your uh, girlfriends found being stuck with you for, for so long, Jax? Have you been uh, doing the washing up? Yeah, of course, I step up on the, a lot of things. The, 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 comment dit la, la, la vaisselle encore? The, di the dishwashing. The dishwashing, mm -hmm. the étendre le linge, to make uh, some, uh, some cook, some pasta. Mm -hmm. when, I, yeah. when, I, when I do some pasta, it's always al dente, frankly. So no, I, I, I help a lot of uh, melody on, uh, on a lot of things, but not mm -hmm. before. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and <laughs> well, this is good. Uh, yeah. Compliment has made you le, le meilleur homme. And uh, and Kenny, <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> me, I do pretty much what I usually do. I take the trash down. I help Paula with the with the dishwasher. With the dishwasher, uh, I hang the the clothes. Uh, I don't cook. No. Mm -hmm. no. Uh, but obviously Paula do, does more than I do, and I'm, I fine, think... I'm fine with that, <laughs> but yeah, I think... I'm, I'm, I'm pretty much uh, helping her as much as, as possible, she, uh, she gives me a lot of uh, missions yeah, yeah. to do, so I need to uh, fulfill those missions. But sometimes we forget, you know, <coughs> it's, yeah, difficult, sometimes we forget it's difficult to think like, about that, uh, sometimes I have a lot of, uh, of uh, vêtements, how do you say vêtements? Clothes. 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 And uh, she tell me so since uh, four days uh, you need to pour les ranger. I pack, uh, yeah, just uh, pack the pack the clothes. You know? Pack the clothes and I yeah. I walk around them uh, since four days and uh, and I don't see them. I don't see them. <laughs> and I and, et voilà quoi. Voilà voilà. And then and then, and then she yells at you and you're like oh come on I forgot come on, I'm bro. Right now and she's still like uh, yeah but you did uh, I told you three times. Yeah. 
My boyfriend leaves shoes in every room. Every yeah. room. Chaque chambre. Uh, yeah, but we don't do it. We don't, we don't do it on purpose, huh, you know. Yeah, I take it personally. Right. <laughs> 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 no, he's also building a house, basically. So fair enough. It's fine. Um, exactly. Let's let's talk though about what you've been doing with the team while you haven't been able to be together because it seems like you guys have been having some fun activities that we've been able to watch on YouTube. You've yeah. been doing some bomb defusal practice by playing Keep Talking and Nobody Explodes. Has this helped the communications in the team, Jax? Uh, it's, uh, sometimes it's difficult, sometimes it's good. I have uh, some days very bad because my English is not good enough and I know it, but uh, <laughs> I try to get better. <laughs> <laughs> slowly but surely like uh, can you know but uh, no every day sometimes is uh, is difficult when i close my days my 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 brain burn oh but, well, especially yeah. when you have a small brain no oh. not not really because uh, i'm really bad in english you know uh, in french too yeah. uh, tu essaies de faire quoi là tu essaies de faire quoi c'est de pour os rien uh, Kenny, uh, we've we've seen you guys doing some drawing as well. There, there is for anyone watching. Explore the G Two YouTube channel. You'll see some fun videos with the guys from the Counter Strike team and the other teams as well. Uh, there are some interesting uh, drawings going on. I was particularly interested in your artist's impression of Amanek. You uh, you gave him a very big head, Kenny. He has a huge head. Contest. Le, le une grosse tête. Yeah, next right. time, next time you see him, next time you see him, get close to him and watch his head. Yeah. I've never seen such a big head in my life. I haven't actually spoken to Amanek before. Yeah, but uh, he's, really, he... uh, he's really shy, you know? He's very shy, yeah. Okay. And but if, if you, you, if you, talk, if you see start a... talking to him, he's going to blush, he's going to be fun. If you see Amanek in party, you can talk with him uh, all the night. Oh, bro. He's Jesus. really open. Okay. Speak really? about what. So this nah, is uh... the next time. Yeah, what yeah. should I say to him? Give me something in French to say to Amanek. Hello, Fofan. Uh, uh, <laughs> you, 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 you want a drink? And then, uh, and then he's going to do the job. Tu vois un... Salut, tu peux lui dire, if you can say, Salut, Fofan, si je peux te toucher la tête, je t'offre un verre. And he's very happy. I want happy. to touch your head. Yeah, you yeah. can, or, or sniff, you, if you like to sniff uh, the head, yeah. like, like me and with Kenny, you can do it with Fofan. He smells good. Quel, quelle est la scent de Amanek? What? Sorry? <laughs> What's the scent of Amanek? Uh, yeah. A little bit of sweat and a little bit of. Uh, <laughs> no, of I'm joking. Mm. I'm joking. Nice. No, no, he's, 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 he's 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 he sent the sève de Baobab. Vas-y, bonne chance d'Ilus en anglais. Oh, sève of ba, sève de Baobab. I don't know how to say it. He sent, he sent, he sent the you know, the love. You know, you know, the, you know, you see a tree. Uh, the big tree. tree. You know, mm -hmm. and you remove a bit of the tree, and there is yeah. something sticky. Yeah, sap. Like a sap. 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 Yeah. It smells, sap. It smells it's like it's... baobab sap. Yeah, exactly. Baobab sap. So, you know what's a baobab? <laughs> baobab is a big tree with a uh, with a big head. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, I really feel like we've learned so much. Uh, we are poet, yeah, we are poet. Um, and clearly, I would be mad not to be hired again for any other Counter Strike production. Right, let's talk actually uh, uh, about some some Counter Strike. I think. Ça part en couille, Kenya. Congrats, congratulations are in order because you just beat Astralis. Yeah, thank you, uh, thank you. Very much. Yeah. It's the first time, first time for us. Huh? Yeah. Even when you You're beat in... Astralis in practice, uh, we have the feeling we won the land, you know? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So, I'm, so you're very, very happy right yeah, now, yeah. Jack. Yeah. Oh, of even, uh, even uh, without Glaive, it's a good performance. But I think with Glaive, they are a lot, a lot better. They need to 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 find some mechanics with Juggy. But they beat North easily uh, with this lineup, and we lose against North. I don't know why. We are some struggling uh, against them. But yeah, it's, well, it's North, really cool. North no Juggy, obviously, because he used to play for them. So it's they, nothing, nothing. you know, yeah. Juggy knows how to beat North. Uh, how different did they feel to play without Glaive, Kenny? Uh, I feel like they were playing a bit more stacked. Uh, and a little bit more on their individual skill. Uh, I saw a couple of rounds where we 
were able to do multi kills because they were trying to to rely more on their on their on their talents than uh, on their team play. Uh, so yeah, I think we are a bit uh, more warmed up than we we were uh, uh, on the final final road to Rio uh, yesterday, uh, two days ago. So uh, it was a bit harder for them to uh, to win duels. Uh, but yeah, I think they. Uh, they don't have necessarily uh, the same team play, you know, and the team play is definitely the strength of Astralis. Do you think that because you knew they didn't have Glaive, you went into that match with a different mindset to Road to Rio? Because but that, was, son, a, that uh, was a quick final, boys. Okay, okay. Let's face it. To be honest, I, uh, I kept the same mindset uh, because I remember when I, we started playing on this grand final against Australis, okay, we got destroyed, but uh, I know that what I was doing was good, you know, like uh, I was playing uh, fearless. I was fearless and I was uh, trying to to just like uh, be a bit more stupid than, uh, than I am usually, like uh, disconnecting the, the brain, you know, uh, because if you start thinking too much against them, will be in doubt and as soon as you're in doubt they already won you know uh, so you need the whole team to be in that mindset and i think that's what we had two days ago uh, but yeah that's what we are liking also uh, for what we were final is that uh, not all of us had that mindset because it's not easy you know to uh, to put yourself in a mindset where you play astralis and you have to to just like unplug your brain you know as you have <laughs> Ça, tu sais faire ça, hein? Ah, un plug de brain. De brain. <laughs> I know to do it. <laughs> I, would, I would have loved to be on your voice comms when you, when you nailed the match point against the Starless. Oh, to Jack. be honest, we are uh, really, 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 yeah, really chill here for this time. Yeah. Really chill? Yeah. Super cool. Maybe uh, oh. if it oh, was in, uh, in bracket, it would have been different. But, uh, mm. yeah. but you are in the upper bracket now. Starless yeah. are in the lower bracket. Uh, how yeah what are your expectations going into the the playoffs of dreamhack masters Jax? uh what do the, you think will happen uh, i'm happy of course but in the group stage we don't uh, really really show uh, good faces from us we play not uh, your best uh, counter strike and we finish first and now we play the bracket i think the the victory against uh, astralis is a good uh, confidence for us and we we take uh, game by game and uh, we try to 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 win this tournament we need a good uh, good tournament even if it's not but online it's good we will look at some clips from uh, dreamhack masters in a moment so we'll talk in more depth about some of the details of the matches. Uh, why do you think, though, Kenny, that it was uh, a tough start against North? Uh, I think we've had uh, a lot, a lot, a lot of games to play in a row. Uh, the game before North was the Astros game where we got destroyed, uh, so it was a bit tough. Uh, so yeah, I think uh, it's a mix of uh, uh, mental fatigue and uh, some lack of confidence sometimes but um, so, so far since we don't play our best counter strike we rely a lot on uh, on our battle strength on the fact that we are in a team that is really uh, uh, tight you know mm -hmm. uh, so I think it's a big strength we have and uh, that allows us to, to win games that we either should not win or or bouncing back uh, really really quickly you know because that's what we do. We, we we lose a couple of games. We lost a couple of games in Road to Rio, but still we managed to reach the final, you know? Mm. And that seems to be kind of a big difference in G2 since Hunter and Nexa came in. It, the, yeah. the confidence, when you lose it, you pick it up much more quickly. Would you say that's the case? Yeah, yeah, since Nexa and Tabra joined the team. Uh, first of all, the, the atmosphere is really healthy with it, like, between us, as I said earlier. We are like uh, joking all the time. It's not possible. We are a family. <laughs> yeah, it's not possible. We argue with one of each other. It's not possible. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. Sometimes. <laughs> Astralis. Oh, hunt. So Hunter. So you do argue with Hunter, Jax. What? You said Hunter. Je t'en prie, quel ou pas? No, never, never. <laughs> I'm joking. Don't worry. Um, so let's let's talk then uh, about the Astralis uh, subject one more time. Just because they now got seven players, 
Ents, they've now got Yampi as well, so they've got a sixth player. Would you ever have an extra player on G2? It's not, it's not on the plan, but I think uh, for the future, maybe it's good. I don't know. We need to go to, to find a good balance and a good atmosphere between six guys. Sometimes with five guys, it's difficult. So with six guys, but uh, you can do a lot of uh, a lot of a system. I don't know if, if I can say that, can you? Uh, we, en gros, on peut yeah, créer yeah, plein de systèmes autour de ce genre. Tu peux créer différents systèmes. Différents systèmes. Et aussi, je pense que le plus grand point de faire un nouveau joueur est de rester les autres joueurs. Tu as beaucoup de facteurs sur le Counter-Strike pour to, to performer bien. So, Donc, avec six gars et différents systèmes, c'est bon. Tu sais. <laughs> so, um, I want to get your thoughts though on other teams in the CS scene. Who do you think are the strongest teams in Counter Strike at the moment, Kenny? Astralis. <laughs> Astralis. <laughs> and you beat them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but with Jugi it's different. But yeah. uh, the Astralis we've seen uh, recently has been really lethal. Mm -hmm. Any other teams that you think, okay, that they're, they're tough to play? Uh, I think FaZe is in a great shape. I think uh, Mossport is not super good shape right now, but uh, uh, yeah, FaZe is in good shape. Uh, we've seen Navi playing a bit bad recently, but uh, it's online. Navi is always uh, it's not the same. same. Why, uh, Kenny, why do you think FaZe are in such good shape and yet it doesn't translate to a big finish at the end? Because it's like, online. <laughs> You just think that's the case? No, I, no, 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 no. I don't think they're onliners, but I think it helps them. Uh, but it doesn't them. help them get to a final. Otherwise, it could have been G two versus Phase. And oh, yeah, because uh, because we beat them in the in the lower bracket final. I mean, yeah. It's, uh, but, uh, yeah. Within the the like Astralis head, and then you have the the strong teams that are playing against each other. You know. Mm -hmm. And then when you play yeah. uh, when you play a series, you want to get your shot, you want to beat them. Uh, but it's different from other games, you know. Like when we play phase, one day they can beat us, one uh, another day they can beat us. It's the same with uh, mouse sport and uh, and the teams that are like really strong and a bit hurt as well, you know. Yeah, that makes sense. What about teams that don't work very well at the moment, Jax? Are there any teams? you think maybe need a change? It's difficult to have an opinion yeah. now because we play only online and uh, for the team is always different. Maybe for the yeah. for some team is good to play to play in the from from uh, from the house but uh, I think for tier one team when you have the habit to play uh, the big uh, big events you prefer to to go offline. Yeah, you don't have the boot camp. You don't yeah, boot camp. You socialize. You you see your boys. You can speak. You can do a lot of stuff. Uh, Want to create uh, good uh, good things. So, do you think that's the problem for Team Liquid at the moment? Maybe I not in in intern with us, but uh, it's always like if in in Counter Strike. Sometimes you play good. Sometimes you play bad. It's uh, it's uh, easy things, but you know, you need to be really uh, constant constantly. Re to find this balance and to be constantly like Astralis. Astralis is uh, on, uh, in another planet uh, on this. They are really, 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 really constantly. And also we've seen uh, Liquid uh, dropping, uh, dropping down a bit, bit, a bit yeah. uh, before the, the confirmation started. Yeah, but I think it's like, uh, like Mooseport. They have a little drop down, but in the, I don't know, in the one, two, three months, I think they, they go in the top five again. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, you don't. You they, never know what can happen in the team. You know, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. You, you can you can play in a team that are, have the potential to be the best team in the world, but they they are not even in the top ten. You know. Mm -hmm. That <coughs> that is true. I, I one one final question on other teams. Uh, Lecro cutting NIP. Were you surprised, Kenny? Uh, yes and no because uh, I think NIP is the kind of team that has been showing a lot of uh, bright stuff online. Uh, but I don't think they are as strong as they are online offline, first of all. And the reason is that they, first of all, lack of leadership. Uh, Necro was not entirely the in-game leader, uh, which is the problem. Like, not entirely the in-game leader in the sense that he was also lacking of leadership, from what I heard. Uh, 
Uh, but uh, on the other hand, I felt like Lee Crew was one of the one with the most consistent uh, uh, performances and good performances as well, you know. So uh, it makes sense for me that they bring an in-game leader. Uh, but for me, uh, it should have been a player like maybe Noak or something because uh, Twist is hoping and uh, they, have the, they have two opus and one of them is not playing his role. So I don't know, it's just looking weird. Mm -hmm. But I'm not the mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Tout à fait, tout à fait, uh, JPO. Mm. Let's me. talk. <laughs> Let's talk about North. I know, I know. This is a this is a tough subject, but you're in the upper bracket of Dreamhack Masters, so it's fine. It's okay. This is a safe space. <laughs> The coach thing is obviously the kryptonite, uh, so it must have been very hard to to lose that match with Jumpy, and then you lost one with Christu as well in DreamHack Masters recently. Uh, he's obviously just come in because Kirby, unfortunately, is going to have to sit out for a few months with health issues. Why? Why North? Why are they a hard team for you to to play against, Jax? J'ai rien compris, frère. Pourquoi North? Uh, C'est une équipe difficile à jouer pour nous. C'est trop fort pour toi. I I uh, I don't know first first of all when you play North, but we play two times recently and uh, they play they play good and us we play we play not uh, we play really bad. It not uh, they win a run because they are better than us is more we lose the run because we, we do some big mistake and uh, so, but they they play good. They have a good game plan against uh, against us. MSL is a, for me is a good uh, leader in game. I respect them. Yeah, so and a good opener as well. And, and a good opener as well. And so yeah, sometimes uh, just uh, we don't know. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, anything to add to that, Kenny? Uh, again, is it uh, just the, the mindset thing? Uh, wait. <coughs> Bless you. Uh, thank you. I think, uh, first of all, they're in bootcamp. Uh, it helps yeah. creating the momentum. Uh, for us, it's hard. Like, when you are the upper hand of the game, it's easier to keep it while you are in bootcamp, I, I, I suppose. Uh, first, and also, Jumpy is not bad. Uh, I lost two coaches, and in my opinion, Jumpy is not among those coaches that are not uh, able to, to do a multi-kill. Uh, in my opinion, he can. A good, uh, he's good uh, individually as well, and uh, and yeah, maybe uh, it's it's about uh, the map pool that is uh, feeling them better. Uh, you know, like every every matchup are different, and uh, everything is, uh, is is taking a, a benefit uh, mm -hmm. over strength and weaknesses of other teams. You know, and sometimes uh, our weaknesses are. Are really uh, easy to f to use for some opponents, and sometimes our our strength are way too strong for for our opponents. You know, like uh, matchups in CS are really complicated. Like uh, you can see, like uh, uh, there is matchup where like there is no way the the other team wins, or they will win once out of ten. You know, and I'm not mm -hmm. saying North is the kind of matchup we're not never gonna win, but I'm saying that uh, if we don't play good, we lose. That is what it is. You guys, you're rocking quite an aggressive play style, of course. Uh, Jax, you're going in, you're working with Hunter, obviously super aggressive. Uh, he's got this this cousin, but no one cares about him anymore because Hunter's so good. And then, uh, Kenny, you're ridiculously creative, right? So how does it work so well for, for G2, this play style? Because it's quite a risky one at times. Yes, but we need to take some risks sometimes <laughs> to surprise uh, the opposant. And uh, yeah, Antar and me, and it's like uh, Twix, you know Twix, the chocolate uh, bar. We are always uh, like this together, and uh, it's my uh, trader, and I open for uh, for him. Mm -hmm. And I know that Hunter actually loves 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 playing with you, Jax. I don't know if you know this, but he says that you're yeah because I am the, the I am the dog of Hunter, you know. He me tient he me tient par la laisse comme ça. He's holding uh, he's holding him with the leash. He holding me, and when he say go, Jax. And phew, I'm running like a, like a, like an entrepreneur. <laughs> Jax, you're looking, you're looking. I know you're looking at Kenny because you miss him so much, rather than looking at the camera. I wish. Yeah, you sorry, could. sorry, but uh, okay, if I speak to the fine. camera, it's not. Uh, I I like to to see the face when I speak. You know. 
I understand. I understand. You understand? But we then we can't see your face, and I want I want everyone to see your face because it's a it's not a Salut. bad face. It's a good <laughs> face. Hel- hello. <laughs> oh. um, uh, this is now a running meme as well. I forget bomb diffuser. It's all about dust too, and and Nexa is is riding this meme, and I'm literally living for his Twitter account right now. You can play it. We know you can play it. Uh, CT side though. They've not been looking great recently. What is going on with Dust 2, Kenny? Uh, <laughs> I, I think we need to, to adapt a little bit more than we, we did. Uh, we are a bit playing on, uh, on the things we know to do, you know? Uh, and since we didn't have a lot of time to, uh, to go through the map <laughs> like we usually do, uh, those things remain, you know? Our abyss remain and... Uh, <coughs> and yeah, we are it's a bit uh, not updated, but we need uh, a couple of new stuff to uh, to surprise opponents because uh, nowadays it's getting harder to to surprise opponents without us too. Uh, but as I said, we we've had a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of games, so impossible for us to go through maps by maps, to be honest. And recently, you're playing <coughs> a lot more Vertigo. How have you found the changes on that map? I think it's the best map of series. I think uh, the, the, the... No, it's just two, it's just two. No, 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 no. The best map of CS are Cobblestone Overpass, uh, Vertigo and Nuke. Oh, yeah, but yeah. Then, 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 then you have Inferno just below. And uh, this two is one of the worst map of the game because the, the map is just boring. It's super boring. Fou- I, like, I like to play the map. Gaulois. You are I a like, fake French, bro. I like to play the map. I like to play the map. I'm comfortable on it. But I think the map is boring. It's super boring. To play and to watch. Strong words for an AWPA. Yes. Talking about Dust 2. Ah, I like the yeah, map. Because I like the map, but because it's shit. Because on City, it plays AWPA and uh, almost all the time you, play, you need to play card to all the, all the side. But uh, it's maybe this you, you think is boring, but for a rifle, I think it's not boring. You just need to, oh, you do everything to understand say. good the mechanic uh, of the map. Look, look at the default, like, bro. Anyway, uh, anyway, you, you, can change, you can change the default, bro. You have uh, one default on, on this two, but uh, for taking the array, it's yeah, not uh, yeah, 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 of the course, same of space. Course we can change. It doesn't change the fact that make a, the map itself is boring. Like, uh, there is not an infinity things to do, bro. Uh, this two has been there forever, and, uh, and uh, things have been uh, different, obviously, but... Uh, you are a fake Gaulois. Tu ne représentes pas les terres gauloises, frérot. Ah, non, moi, je suis un Romain, moi. Je suis un avaricien. <laughs> You, I'm surprised with Dust 2. I think there was there was a lot of um, attention paid to the changes opening up the sky box, going to the B site from upper dark or upper tunnels, whatever you, you want to call it. Different yeah, callouts. Different as you see, uh, people are not choosing it that much. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Maybe, flashes. maybe some type of flashes there, but um, nothing special. It doesn't seem to have made that much of a difference. Sorry? Uh, so, so far, no. So, so far, so, so far uh, it doesn't change much. No. Huh. Yeah, so it's still boring for you, Kenny. I understand. You, I mean, you've been playing for quite a few years now. I mean, you're you're quite old now. You're 25. Uh, so let's look at some clips. <laughs> uh, let's look at some clips, and and this one is is one for you, really, Kenny. Uh, what's it like playing against Nico? Because we know Hunter loves his cousin very much. It's quite probably quite hard for him to play against him sometimes. Uh, yeah. So so how is it for you, Kenny? Uh, to be honest, I got pretty lucky that every time I play Nico, he's not playing that good, you know? Yeah, I don't know, like... Uh, oh. Except except the Dust 2, we played against them uh, on Rio. Uh, Nico uh, has never been like the the Nico I watch on stream against uh, my teams, you know? So I'm, I'm feeling lucky for that, and I hope it's not going to change, because I know what Nico can do when he's... Uh, when he's playing really good, which he does like most of the time. Uh, but yeah, I guess us usually is uh, he's more quiet than other games. Mm-hmm. He's he's been having a fantastic uh, year individually so far. We've got a clip uh, of him playing against you guys when he nearly aced, but I believe was it uh, Brocky you denied denied him that ace. So selfish that kid. <laughs> Yeah, I remember this clip, it keeps for Like, it's a really good action, really good, good. On train? No, no, that's too. Hop. Okay. Oh, j'aurais compris. Actually, the screen is gone. Ah, okay, j'ai pas vu. Vision or otherwise. 
Yeah, Nico is very, he's really good uh, with open this too. Yeah. He likes to play uh, around the ramp and he, he gère sa ramp, comme on dit en France. He's, uh, he's he ramp he gère well. sa ramp. Yeah, yeah, he's a strong position for him. No, he's, he's, he's amazing. He's, uh, yeah. he's, he's been uh, in the top five best player in the world for, for a long time now, so yeah. surprising. Mm -hmm. So after after a kind of a quiet year for Nico last year, actually 2020, was where yeah, was but it happens, you know. A career is yeah. a long, is a, is, it's really long, and that's the tough things with being a competitor. Uh, it doesn't matter the area you're a competitor on. Uh, one week can be perfect, you can be the happiest guy in the world, and the next week you can be fully depressed, you know. So you have to mm -hmm. to handle those things, and uh, you know it, it requires a bit of experience, you know. I feel like I'm, I'm doing Malik's job here, but we're going to take a look at Dust 2 again. We're, we're talking a lot about about Dust 2 right now, just because how can we not? Because Nexa won't stop talking about it. So let's look at this uh, clip from your match against Heretics. Mm -hmm. This, I mean, this is this is kind of mad team play, right? On your it's, T side. Right, it's a catch Ridiculous. it, this one. Hey, we couldn't catch it. Yeah, 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 that's the thing, uh, like, doesn't matter the map, we are really strong on this side, we have, uh, we have a really, really strong team on this side. And then, yeah, the, the CT side. It looks like you're going to win, it looks like you're going to run away with this, and then you switch sides and it went wrong. Yeah. That's one of the worst match of my career, bro. <laughs> bro. <laughs> now I feel sad, why is it one of the worst matches of your career? It's online. I, yeah, yeah, but uh, it was uh, really hard for me. Really hard. I was not in the in, my per in the perfect condition, and uh, and uh, I totally failed this match, and it impacted me on uh, on the rest of and the week. Confidence. Yeah, but it is what it is. As I said, uh, one week you can be fully happy, and one week you can be f f depressed because of your performances. Or but uh, we lo we won that game, so that's all that matters. It's all. It's better to win when uh, when you play bad than uh, losing when you play bad. Jax, you are the player we know is always happy. What do you say to Kenny when he is sad in game? I will just look Kenny. Kenny is a really, really good opera and everything though for me is the best opera in the world. Uh, not because it's my friend, but uh, mechanically and just skills is the best. But sometimes you have the uh, mentality like if he, if he miss one shot, he can fall down. But uh, I explain a lot. It's not because you you miss one shot, bro. You need to 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 step up to to keep it up because he is a perfectionist. I don't know to say that in English. That's yeah. That's right. Perfect. Uh, he's perfectionist and uh, he wants always uh, the best from individual performance. And when he's not happy from one shot from the performance, is uh, he can uh, fall down a bit. And after I, I put a coup de boule on the head. Uh, well, and he, it's not. It's not that. Up. It's not that extreme anymore. But uh, see, sometimes it's extreme. But yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, yeah. It happens. It happens. It happens. Well, it happens. happens. It happens. We, we'll talk about that resilience so that uh that strength to come back because yeah. after that dust two game you went to mirage and this time you were stayed strong uh, so we're going to take a look at a clip from this match right now so this is obviously in the second yeah, half 13 7 to heretics but you're on the ct side so happy days because it's mirage isn't it uh, how did malik help you in this on this map uh, i don't remember necessarily on this map uh, i have a specific situation where i remember that he helped us a lot uh, when was it was just two last time he helped us a lot with that. Yeah, it's the kind of match. Vitality against Vitality. Against Vitality. We won. We won Vitality just because of Malek. Literally, yeah, yeah. literally. And just two, they were leading 10-1, and we, we felt pretty pretty bad. Not gonna lie. Uh, we are a strong team. We have a strong resilience. Uh, we are mentally strong, but sometimes you know. Uh, you need uh, you need uh, you need someone to push you, and in this exact situation, they were leading 10-1. He started pushing us. We ended up the side with 10-5, and we won the game at the end. So those those rounds on City when he woke us up, uh, that made like a crucial difference uh, 
in order to win the game. Oh, I want to talk about l'homme avec la tête. La tête de pastèque. Ou la tête grande. The watermelon. The pastèque, you can say. Oui, le, 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 oui. Uh, ouais, of course, ouais. uh, Why is he always the man with the smoke? We've got we've got a clip here to to illustrate what I mean. Here we go, I'm first to go. Because dude, he is the he's not in direction, so uh, yeah, he's a support man. Yeah, he's a support man. Yeah, the lurker. We, we are in direction, and sometimes I'm the support. Most of the time, I'm the support during the round. I'm not the support at the beginning, but I'm the support at mid round, you know. In the mid round, yeah. <coughs> mm -hmm. So let's say that uh, Amalek is the support uh, early and late round. Yeah. I want a cough button like Kenny's. I need to upgrade my uh, grade my <laughs> recording deck. We're gonna uh, take a look at the next clip. Here we go. Uh, when did, when, did, uh, when do you give us now. a nice clip from uh, Jackie and I? Oh, well, Never. G G2 have, d have chosen these clips. Uh, maybe sometimes it's a form of torture because oh, we're talking about Vertigo again. This is a map that you have just declared your love for, Kenny. Yeah. How that sandbag position, two rounds in a row, you don't check it. And now the, the, the map, the map changes has yeah. made that position yeah, yeah, yeah. so important to check. Because it's got so much more review on everything. Yeah, yeah, we, we, are, we are not named. Sometimes, you know, like, uh, even though you want to clear a position, uh, depends of the timing, where, like, depends of the timing, this is getting harder to check the position. Mm. Uh, at this time, I think we already molded uh, sandbags first, then we fell back, then it went sandbags, which is pretty smart, you know? Uh, so we don't have the reflex to check sandbags once again. Mm. And that's what happens most of the time. Or uh, sometimes yes. we want to execute so f we want to execute super fast before even uh, checking uh, sandbags, yeah, yeah. which is a risk. But you know, uh, sometimes uh, you, you take a sometimes risk and we, you and, and sometimes we, you lose. Oui, comment comment dire on se projette sur le rune et forcément des fois on oublie des petits détails et des petits des recoins à check. You're, you're projecting yourself into the round and you tend to forget small details, you know. Mm -hmm. that's, that's position. understandable yeah. uh, but let's let's move on to the next clip and this was a very very long series okay so we're, we're talking about 90 rounds absolutely whopping game between yourselves uh, and vitality that I, I i don't know if we can call this like uh, the french classic anymore because obviously you guys are not the french players anymore but but yeah, Le Classico. Uh, Le, Le Classico. Um, why was it such a, a close map? Because on paper, a close match, because on paper, this this is G2's to lose. No. Why on paper is it to We were for Rito this Because game. you, yeah, because, yeah, but G2, you guys have been a team for so much longer. Vitality have not been without their struggles. So the fact that it was such a close game is a surprise. Uh, not necessarily because uh, online we've had a lot of like close games like that. Everyone pretty much. Uh, so yeah, not necessarily. And also uh, we were not playing good at all, uh, but we are playing good enough to uh, to win games, which happened against Vitality. I think we were the better team anyway uh, on this day. Uh, yeah, maybe we. We have more strength than they have because even though we were playing like 30, 40 percent of our level, as I said after this game, we uh, we still managed to win. But we have uh, we have that chemistry that uh, that pushes to uh, uh, like that, that that resilience that pushes to be uh, to not let it go and keep fighting. And uh, and we are the kind of team that create momentum and when we create momentum, it's really hard for us to for for our opponents to uh, to stop us down. You know. What kind of a team do you think Vitality is, Jax, now that Apex is calling and Masuta's still getting mm. used to I think this Mr. level Need of Counter-Strike? He's a very good player and very uh, young talent. And I know him from uh, because we are French and we know he's very good. And for Apex, for Apex uh, it's a new world for, uh, for him. He's never now uh, be in-game leader in the past. But uh, we all know it in the French is the most uh, work 
worker. Ça se dit. Most worker. Yeah, the biggest worker. The biggest uh, work. worker in the in the team and uh, maybe in the French scene. So I think uh, they can be be good. They need to to find a good alchemy and uh, they can uh, they can a top 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 ten team. Oui. We're gonna come. Yeah. I think they have the player. Uh, they have the players that are all really good in what they're doing. Literally, mm -hmm. uh, does it fit together? I don't know. We'll find out. But uh, but yeah, I think uh, seeing the players they have, it's uh, it's way too early to say that. Uh, yeah, they're gonna yeah. be bad or something. You know. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about eco rounds. We're gonna go on to two positive things to uh, to wrap things up because eco rounds. They just seem like... Ah, mon bro, mon uh, potato, I remember. C'est moi, c'est moi. <laughs> uh, we, are, we have strong jiggle okay. players. We have really strong yeah. jiggle players. Me yeah. sometimes, but Jax and the Daxa, they are insane. Yeah. And we, we, have I, Anak, I uh, we have a Manic with 5-7 now. That, that's insane. Yeah, it's a new pistol. Uh, me, when I'm on fire, like, jiggle can be really cool. And Jax and Nexa all the time, bro. Like, at least one shot Diggle. Uh, yeah, I, li I like Diggle. It's my favorite weapon with uh, AK-47. AK uh, Diggle, uh, it's uh, so... So kiffant, you know? So when you put... Uh, some satisfying. Diggle, satisfying. And... So sa yeah. satisfying. Yeah. I really like it. Well, Finamon, boys, how does it feel to be on the winning side of a flubbed... Bomb diffuse. Oh my god. This oh. As we can, saw can... against heroic. We left the server, dude. I left the server. You too, uh, Jackie? Yeah, yeah, me too. Together, bro. And in the end. Okay. And let's face it, if, if obviously if you'd lost this, you would have lost the series. Yeah, of course. This, it's very similar to. Uh, <coughs> Uh, Major Berlin uh, Charles. I don't want to say it too much out loud because I feel bad even though that's the funniest flipping counter I've ever seen but you know you, you gave up the series and now Heroic basically gave you a series uh, yeah thank you what, uh, Nico. What, <laughs> what was it like in that moment uh, yeah, well, how did well, you, yeah. But we don't really know the, when they kill uh, three, of, three, three of us. We, I think we, we thinking enemy, it's, uh, it's finished. And uh, on the game, I think it's Hunter or uh, yeah, Hunter say, guys, go on the server, it's not finished. The bomb, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> and we coming, and after we, we try to, well, we, we close the game. I mean, yeah, Kenny, to, to, to leave the server, yeah. it makes it sound like you would, you were already quite tilted because to leave a server before a ma match is officially over yeah we are, we are. That, that's the actual well, stuff we're doing usually I'm, I'm tilted because I, I, in my head I lost you know yeah, yeah. yeah. so I'm but tilted then... but I, I never left like the, this is literally the first time it happens to me I was sure 100% that he had the bomb like in my opinion like on my view literally like he touched the bomb and I left like five seconds later and uh With the beam of the bomb and stuff, I felt like it's over, it's not possible. And then, uh, I don't know what they did, I think they changed the, the, the guy that defused the bomb or something, and they, they, lost the, they lost the bomb. But yeah, I will never, I will always wait now, always. So you quickly logged back on, and then how, yeah. did, you, how did you focus and get that win in overtime? Well, well I joined so fast that I didn't have time to actually uh, get out of the game. You know, I just got out of the game on the, on the PC, but I was still in the game in my mind, you know. It's like, uh, it's like the transition was not uh, long enough to, uh, to, to do the switch mode. Yeah. Mm. Well, guys, mm -hmm. that, is, that is the end of watching back clips. I'm not going to torture you anymore. Oh, thank you, you are going to be free, free to move on with the rest of your lives. But I hope you enjoyed yourselves. Jax, was, yes. was it okay speaking to me in English? It's always okay. It's always... <laughs> <laughs> no, it's always, it, was, it was cool. Yeah. I think I, I, beg, I, beg, uh, <laughs> I beg a lot because it's difficult. But no, it's, uh, I need to do it to, to, to get better. Yeah. But Dans the tous thing les is... Cas. If we did, uh, if we did an interview at uh, uh, an event, then it would I be like I run. two I run. minutes. I run. I run. I run. I run. I run and you, you can catch me. 
I, I read more des... fast than, than you, uh, Frankie, for sure. Ah, si, si. Moi, je te le dis. Moi, je te le dis. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> I will catch you. We will do it. Well, after, after the game in event, uh, you are like, uh, I want to. And it's difficult. I respect Kenny. I respect Nexa to do it like, uh, pro, like professionally. They did good. And franchement, let's go. You, uh, you it's, it. it's a part of the job, my bro. Yeah. Kenny mm -hmm. is, is, was the most professional player. He can be a lot of a funny guy. But when you see a camera in event, like uh, the, the Gaulois. The, the, the first of the class, you know, le premier de la classe. Et comme ça. Oui, bonsoir. Alors d'accord. Est... <rire> he's, he's, he's one of my favorites to interview. Yeah, I have to say. Yeah. Um, and, and me the worst, hein? <rire> Because I no, never did. No, no, je préfère Jax. <rire> Allez, ciao. J'ai mon cou. <rire> Ouais. Oh, I'm joking, I'm joking. simple. <rire> Je voudrais parler avec Jax dans l'avenir. Ok, ça va. No problem. No problem. Ah, ouais. Because if I give you Jax to do the interview, it means I just have five interviews to do. Not yeah. six. Six. <rire> oh, yeah. Well, thank marrant. you. That was, it was very fun to speak to you both. Thank you so much to all of you guys for thank watching. Thank you, Frankie. Thank you, Frafran. Thank you. Yeah, well, thank, thank the you. audience, boys, because we hope that you guys enjoyed watching this video. And please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Otherwise, Jax is a really fast runner and he will come after you. So let us know in the comments below if you'd like to see more shows like this. And also, if you've got any questions, then feel free to ask them and, and maybe you'll get a response. So thank you so much. Tiffany! And follow us, follow us, follow my Instagram, Wait. baby! Au revoir! Ciao, Jack! Au revoir, Frankie! Ciao, ciao! Bye bye, Frankie! Ciao! On est là! Ciao! ciao. ciao. ciao.